Driving Technology is brought to you by John Deere, your partner in equipment and precision ag solutions. Welcome back. Well, quite a bit of equipment was running in the field this week, even if the planting window was really short for some. But it's during the heat of planting and harvest when issues can arise with equipment. We're off to Kansas this week for driving technology. Worries about winter wheat come to bear every year. Most of the wheat looks really good around here. But this year, Mother Nature flipped. Last year was, it was actually a, kind of a disaster from the word go. Providing plenty of Kansas farmer Kelly Torline's most precious resource. Totally opposite. Last year we couldn't buy rain and thought everything was, you know, just pretty well dead. And this year it almost got too wet to do a lot of things real early. A good start to a potentially great crop, unlike last year's harvest. A harvest proving to be a challenge in more than one way. We've been out milo harvesting. Um, I was in combine, had a kid in the in the tractor and grain cart, and uh, I get a call from um, uh, American Implement. So I want to know how my new tractor is running. That call came from Patrick Vanderberg, service manager for American Implement. Got a code right away in the morning. As soon as I turned on the computer, uh, got a code for a PTO sensor, uh, a harness that could be an issue. Uh, I was able to call Kelly at approximately 7.30 in the morning. Vanderberg called asking Torline about the PTO on his tractor. Hello. And I said, I guess all right, why? And he says, well, we got a call that we had low pressure and low voltage on the, the PTO. And I just asked the man was, that was uh, in it and he said, well, he said there was a little blip once and he said, but I haven't caught any codes or anything. Basically told him, hey, we got this expert alert PTO harness. You know, I think we had to come out and take a look at it. It was connected to a grain cart. Uh, so we were able to send a technician out, you know, 8.30 in the morning and, and start diagnosing on it. So Dodge went ahead and came out and looked at it and found out that a mile stock had gotten up underneath the shield and tore out the wiring in the uh, sensor on the PTO. And it just was a sensor, luckily, but it did show right away. Torline says the call brought to face an issue, an issue he didn't even know was there. I didn't see anything wrong. I looked for oil. I looked for anything I could and uh, there was nothing underneath it. It started up fine. It ran fine. But uh, uh, when they came out here, when the mechanic came out, uh, he found it. Torline says he's amazed at how technology worked that day. I told Patrick the other day I, I was kind of a little bit dumbfounded because I wasn't for sure how he knew what happened was happening with my tractor. And it all started with one call, a call that came with a lot of trust. I probably talked to Kelly once, maybe twice before then. A call to a farmer who was in the trenches harvesting Milo at the time. He's a fairly new employee there at Dodge and uh, now he, he just said that, hey, we've got a, a, a deal that came to us that said that you were having a problem with your PTO. And I, you know, that's one of the problems with hiring someone into your tractor that you're not there to do it. So this is actually another set of eyes on it for me and makes a huge difference. It makes me a little bit more confident. Yeah, this is the tractor that actually happened on. This is the one that Patrick called me about uh, that morning and said that we had a, a problem with it. For Torline, it's one machine that does several jobs on the farm and is a staple during harvest. And during harvest time, that's basically all we need for is a grain cart. and. Uh, it pulls a, about a 1,200 bushel grain cart, and there's not, not a lot of tractors that pull 1,200 bushel grain carts, so it's, it's very important to me, and uh, it, uh, it just handles it very nicely. And that's a general uh, area-wide type thing down here. You know, they have one piece of equipment, and it's supposed to do X job, so anytime that piece, piece of equipment is down, you know, it hurts our operation. And it was a harvest tour line we'll never forget but a harvest that didn't come with many breakdowns that pushed him out of the field for very long. I actually called Patrick back and I said, that is probably one of the coolest things I have ever seen. I said, it, it was it, no downtime, no money. It just, it saved me, or it could have saved me a lot of money. A sweet ending to a trying year as Torline looks ahead, hoping for an uneventful harvest and bountiful bushels in 2019. All right, when we come back, we're off to John Phipps Farm for a little reminder of the Crown Rules. Customer support is next. I think we have a finalist for the best email of 2019. 